Hey guys, it has been about a month since we purchased and did a review on Mr. Beast Bars and how to win a golden ticket, but we have recently stumbled across new information on how to win one of the golden tickets to his infamous chocolate factory. Yes, we figured out how it actually works, and I'm gonna show you the video from somebody who actually won. There's a lot of YouTube clickbait out there, people pretending to have won, <laughs> and it's like, when they say they won, oftentimes it's like, oh, you won a free chocolate bar. They didn't actually win a ticket to the chocolate factory. That's what we're gonna show you in this video firsthand from somebody who actually won, but essentially how it works, guys, is when you get your Feastables, that's the company that manufactures the Mr. Beast chocolate bars. Make sure you enter in all of the codes from the bars. If you caught our review from a month ago, you saw we sat there at the computer. Every every bar that we had, we spun the wheel. I forget how much the whole box cost. Probably like a hundred bucks. I don't remember. Yeah, and uh, we didn't win anything. But depending on if you have the right code, they may end up calling you, telling you to expect a package when you open the package you get essentially what is the uh, the earmarked special Mr. Beast bar with the golden ticket inside. So I'm gonna show you a video of somebody who won and recorded their reaction in real time. So I'm here at the Feastables Instagram page and they've been posting stories from some of the winners and pictures from some of the winners. So you can see here, this is what it looks like if you get the admit one ticket to the chocolate factory. However, we all thought we'd find it in a random chocolate bar. Unfortunately, that is not how it works. I'll let one of the winners explain it right now. I got a phone call and a text from somebody that works for Mr. Beast. <laughs> a box came to our house today and I just thought it was that chocolate. But in the pantry, I was just like, it's more chocolate. And then I get this text, I call the guy and he goes, hey, um, did you get a package today? And I'm like, uh, I'm not home right now. He's like, well, when you get home, check your porch for a package. Further instructions are inside. And then give Let's me a call. Let's open it. Let's open it. What's weird is this This was open. This was just taped. It was taped. <gasps> no freaking way. And then went to the chocolate factory. <laughs> no way. You're lying, though. Wait, one. you're kidding. You're, you're lying. Kidding? You're lying. There's only 10 of these in the world. What? There's only 10 of these. I gotta call this guy back. I have to call this guy back. Hey! Oh, this is crazy! <laughs> Let's go! We're going to the chocolate factory! Let's go! I gotta. So, guys, that is how it works. They will call you, and you're basically predetermined if you won or not. Uh, I guess I misspoke earlier. It has nothing to do with the codes on the bars because those people hadn't received their chocolate yet as they made clear. So, it sounds like based on. When you check out, they just have a random number generator maybe based on your order ID, determine whether or not you're gonna be one of the winners. So they received their chocolate, it was already open and they had what we're all after. And that is the Mr. Beast Chocolate Factory Admit One. I can't wait to see this video. It's gonna be a banger guys, but hey, if you enjoyed this one, if you found it informative, please drop a like and subscribe. That would mean the world to Marielle and I so we can help grow the channel. I'll also drop a link to the Feastables uh, Instagram account in the description so you can go follow them and check out more information on the winners. But guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.